Sam, thank you. Well, in this week's edition of Vietnam Reflections, we're talking with Dwight Spear. Mr. Spear joined the U.S. Army and served in the Army during his time in Vietnam. And then after the war in Vietnam, he would later go on to serve in the, the U.S. Navy as a CB. Here is his story. Young 17 year old, a bunch of guys got together at the graduation who wanted to join the military. So we did. Eight of us from the valley. And being a demolition person, the uh, infantry didn't have anybody trained. So they would take, uh, there was four of us that were demolition. And uh, they would take us out and we'd go out in the field with the infantry. So we basically became infantry. And uh, we were going across uh, an area that had a large rice paddy and they, uh, they opened up with mortars on us. And, uh, and uh, that's where I got hit with 18 pieces of shrapnel. I don't remember much until I got to the USS Hope. I was in there for five days. They were giving me um, blood because I lost so much. And they finally got me well enough to where they were going to discharge me. So they, they put me on another medevac train plane to Oakland. And uh, Got to Oakland and uh, gee. anyways, got to Oakland and they they medevac me to with another plane to Syracuse because uh, that was the closest air base near here, and uh, then they. Uh, put a staff car out and they took me and brought me down to Waverly where I was living with my family at the time. It was good. Uh, my two younger brothers were there and and uh, they tackled me in the front yard and they didn't realize I was hurt because they never told anybody at home. I tried to commit suicide in 93. And uh, a friend who worked with me up on the hill, his wife called me and uh, says that she knew somebody that uh, knew about PTSD. And when she gave me that, I didn't even know what the heck that was. And she says, uh, you sound like you have it. So, so I made an appointment with her. Uh, and uh, she got me into a program at uh, Connecticut, the VA in Connecticut, and, and that helped a lot. But I was still having problems. What would you like to say to some other vets who are struggling? Oh. If they're struggling, they need to get help, and uh, the help is out there. They just just have to open your mind and mm -hmm. and go with the flow, and you'll be with other. If they go to Batavia, they'll be with other veterans um, all the time. Uh, they're there. Uh, they have a, a great program now. They've changed it quite a bit, um, and I. I'm glad that I was able to find Batavia through my psychiatrist and because, uh, like I said, I was there 20 times and each time I went, I learned something new. 
How does it make you feel now when someone comes up to you and says, welcome home, and thank oh. you for your service? Sometimes I hug them. <laughs> thank them. And we'd like to thank Mr. Spear for his service and also tell him, welcome home. Absolutely.